Hi everyone, I have got a new subscription to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing this because you know Nancy loves her sweet wines. I've been experimenting with some of the darker reds and the drier wines and I'm really loving the choices that I've been, been getting in the uh, different boxes and the uh, advent calendars. But my real love is sweet wines. So I saw this the other day. I don't know where I saw it. Probably Facebook. But here comes the sweet stuff. It's the Sweet Wine Club. So anyway, I hope that you stick around and join me as we open up the goodies together. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day and spending with me. I appreciate your support more than you know. So we're probably going to do this like I did the Vlogmas a few minutes ago that I'm only going to talk for a little bit and then take a break and then try to put it together. So if it looks a little choppy, it's Nancy with her poor editing skills. But anyway, so this is my first box from the Sweet Wine Club. It's um, sponsored, I think, mainly by Stella Rosa, which is pretty much known for their um, their sweet wines, their semi-sweet wines. Um, I did go on their website, and you can buy without being in a club. But a lot of the flavors are only available to club members so if you want any of the exclusives and it makes sense to join the club especially if you know that you love sweet wines so the one that i decided to stick with um or try first it's a three bottle subscription it comes out four times a year this box is the fall box the last day to order it is december 31st so my next box will come sometime in march for the spring box uh three bottles it's 49 99 so it comes to like $16 and change a bottle um, if you you could up it and get six bottles but I'm not sure if it's two of the same things or if it would be six different ones that one's $86.99 maybe so $14 and change a bottle so I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back alrighty so while I took my break I got everything out of the box took another break got my breath back I'm ready to go for another few minutes so when you open the box you have this on top so and it will tell you a little bit about the flavors and again I do have the fall box which is available uh, through December 31st so we've got blackberry Stella Rosa blackberry Stella Rosa orange and then a sparkling Moscato and and it just says now that you can upgrade to receive doubles. Okay. And how you do that. The back just has a little uh, zodiac chart. So I'm a Gemini. So it says um, I should have maybe some wine with some cranberry baked free bites you know I've, I've never had some but I remember about two years ago when I was at Trader Joe's I remember seeing them in the appetizer section and I thought they looked so good so again it just tells you different dishes that you can have with the zodiac gives you some conversation starters and a little bit about um, someone that's on the sweet wine club team and he's from Situate Massachusetts interesting Alrighty, so it tells you a little bit about the wine. So it says the Stella Rosa Blackberry. <coughs> it's a semi-sweet sparkling wine um, and with burst of juicy blackberry. They say you should uh, fig and goat cheese. Bruschetta would be good to pair that with. Oh my God, that would be so good. Or a beef stew or white chocolate truffles. For the uh, Stella Rosa, for the orange, um, it says that the taste is a blend of orange, orange blossom, and organically grown Moscato grapes. It says it should be could be paired with roasted squash salad. I don't know what that is. Harissa chicken with chickpeas. I don't do chickpeas. 
uh, and ginger snap cookies. I do ginger snap cookies. Or the Stella Rosa, the Imperial Moscato. So it's a sweet, fully sparkling wine with the natural flavors of pear, peach, and wildflower. Uh, pairing, it says baked brie with honey. That sounds good. I need to try that. Grilled cumin cauliflower steak. Uh, I'll have the steak without the cauliflower, please. Or an apple tart. I could definitely do that. So you do get some coupon codes and things like that in there. Um, got this little keychain. It's a nice pink leather fringe that you can put on your keychain. I dropped something else. Got a lip balm, Stella Rosa, black cherry. I'm gonna have to try this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think it's colorless, but oh my gosh, that smells so good. A little bit of a nice taste. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna hold these up quick and then I'll put down them in the description below. That way I don't have to talk as much. So this is the first one, and again, I'll put it in the description below if it's anything that you are interested in. They do look like beautiful colors. I never heard of 88 acres. Um, looks like maybe they do protein bars or natural bars. Looks like a postcard on the front, but it's really a coupon code for those type of purses. And I'll, again, I'll put that in my description. These are like beach blankets and towels. Um, I don't see a code on this, so maybe it's just inviting you to take a look and look at that type of instant camera. If there is a code, I'll put it there um, for Dash. So maybe they are like gifts that they deliver. I don't know. And then um, it did say that they sent some recipe cards, so... Uh, you got so it's six cards three uh, three of uh, food and then three of uh, the wine and I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back alrighty sorry about the breaks okay so the first one is food so they give you a salad for a cob salad and then a ricotta spinach ricotta pasta and then some pies and it also mentions about what wine they would pair it with on the other side it's actually drinks using the wine so maybe if you're not a wine drinker or you want to make a cocktail out of it how to make different cocktails from it so fall sunrise a drink using the blackberry and one using the sparkling Moscato. All right, so I think that's about it. It just did come in that big box. Um, they're protected with that, those kind of things on top and the bottom, so they, they're well protected for travel. I'm really torn between the orange and the blackberry, but you know, I think the blackberry is going to win. All right, yeah, let's do a quick taste of this. So, Stella Rosa. Blackberry. I don't think I, I held them up and showed them to you. So that's the label on this one. This is the sparkling one. That's a lot for one person to drink on New Year's. So uh, that, may, uh, that may end up at work with me if, if I'm back to work by then. Or the day I go back. I think that'll be a celebration, right? Um, and this one's the Orange Fusion. Fusion. Yikes. 
Alrighty, I can hear Mr. Griffin barking outside. He hasn't been over in a while. I think they think that if he comes over for a treat every day that he'll be bothering me, but he, he really wouldn't be. I would give him his treat. Alrighty. I'm just gonna put it in the glass that I had the rosé in a few minutes ago. I don't think that's too much bad. So again, my glasses. I enjoy going for long, romantic walks down the wine aisle. So cheers, everybody. Oh my gosh, this is so fruity. It's so sweet. You can taste the blackberries. This is going to be good. So cheers, everyone. Well, it might be too sweet. Kind of taste. Like a cross between soda and wine so it's got a little bit of bubbly to it I think I might have to play with this and maybe use those uh, that uh, recipe card to change it I don't think it's something I'd want to have a full glass of unless maybe I'm having it appetizers that would probably change the taste a little bit or maybe mixing it with a different type of wine, maybe putting in a, a dry wine like a Pinot Noir or maybe um, maybe a Merlot or something that maybe I'm not fond of because maybe that one's too strong. So maybe blending the two together would be perfect. But for me to say it's kind of too sweet for me, that's, yeah, it's, but it's, it's not bad. It's just maybe because I'm so used to having the other ones and I just had the rosé. But anyway, going to have another sip. Check it out for sure. I mean, if I had the whole glass, I'd be ready for a second glass. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of your day with me. It means so much to me. So anyway, I hope you guys go out. Have a great week, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. just coming back real quick here I know I just um, I haven't even posted it yet I did this um, video a couple of weeks ago and it was for the sweet wine club and the one that I tried on that unboxing was the blackberry one and I love sweet wines but I just it was just it wasn't that it was sweet it was there just wasn't a lot of flavor to it I mean it tasted like a kool-aid mix for children so I tried mixing it with some of my honey wine that I like but it didn't do any favors and I wasted the honey wine I mixed it with a little bit of uh, Merlot that I had and yeah I didn't like it so I thought um, because I'm new to this I just wanted to try another bottle and decide if I wanted to keep going with this subscription or if I just wanted to cancel it maybe it's not for me so I know that I am probably more than likely going to love the third bottle here, the Stella Rosa, the Imperial Moscato. So I thought I would go with the orange one just to see what it tastes like. And again, if I don't like this one, then I'm going to cancel my subscription and then look for maybe another uh, wine club that has some sweet wines. So this is the Stella Rosa. It's the orange fusion. Looking forward to trying this out. Hopefully it's better than the blackberry. And that will give me kind of hope if I want to stick with this club or not. And I thought I would just kind of do this real quick and then tack it on to the other one since I haven't uh, posted it yet. Alrighty, so I'm just going to pour a little in the glass. I'm going to swirl it around see if I can get any fragrances to come up very very light it's um very very light orange alrighty so cheers everybody it's definitely better than the blackberry it is a very light wine a little bit of carbonation not much you can taste the orange. It is sweet. So verdict is, I'm going to stick for it for another quarter. See what the next one is like. 
I do like this orange one. I could get used to this one. The blackberry one, it just, yeah, it, it wasn't good. Other people might like it, but it just, it just wasn't right for me. So anyway, cheers everyone. If you are thinking of getting this subscription, um, again, it's going to be everyone's taste is different. I mean, there could be millions of people that got that blackberry one and just love it. So we're all different. We all have different tastes. And uh, yeah, so cheers, everyone. I hope you go out. Have a great day. And we will chat in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.